What is up guys, this is Zach, I'm back with another video and today I'd like to show you guys uh, what I've been working on for about the past week and um, this is a pretty large project but in my uh, in my Python text editor video I last made using tkinter um, I, had a, I had a few requests for people that wanted to see things like syntax highlighting and uh, themes and, and uh, code completion, things are like that, so the text editor is more advanced. And um, so basically, I started thinking, well, I can't do this with tkinter, so which one would I want to use if I did do that? And uh, there's two options that I was really considering, and that is Qt or Qt and um, Wix Python or just Wix. Now, I pretty much just started going into uh, Wix Python after reading up about it and deciding that I wanted to try it instead and um, so yeah pretty much I've gotten a pretty decent text editor here and um, and as you can see this is a pretty hefty project this is this is um, the main file here so let me just put that down a little so this is the uh, full program right now and um, basically the bulk of this, this is the main class so when you're developing the uh, application it's more useful to create a class instead of just doing all of this inside you know a global scope and um, so yeah so I've got all these functions everything there and uh, enough of that of course you can't read 600 lines of code and fully understand it within just a few minutes so let me just build this and show you guys what it looks like alright so the theme that I've built into this is this dark sort of theme I actually modeled it off of the theme that you see in my sublime text here so let me I'm going to uh, put a file open and I'll just open the text editor that I've made so as you can see I have some syntax highlighting I have a uh, number, a line number column, and um, see so yeah, others. It's looking pretty cool so far. And as you see in the status bar down here, it even shows you which line and column you're on, the same way it does in Sublime down here. Now, um, all the syntax highlighting is there. Then, if you press Control Spacebar, you even get the Python uh, code completion. Now, all of the syntax highlighting as of right now currently only works with Python so this is a Python explicit uh, text editor which is kind of ironic considering considering it was made with Python <laughs> but um you can actually as of right now toggle the line numbers column and um so there's that and you can see the line here where your carrot is your uh, your cursor is at is a little highlighted so you can kind of tell where you're at it gives you focus and small things like that so this is what I've got so far there's the typical menus uh, I even did a, a how-to and then about here but um yeah and then there's the right click menu here too and basically yeah I just wanted to ask you guys would you want to see a tutorial for this and um, and if you would, it would have to be broken down into uh, multiple videos. I would say, at the very least, four or five videos, because this is this is a large project, and of course, I'm still working on it. There are some minor bugs here and there, and uh, and whatnot. But uh, I actually recently just updated it so that you have this configuration file where you can change all the colors just right here, and the program will uh, change them. So like um, let's see the uh, let's see the line number uh, back color so if we wanted uh, let's see a red we would have like ff0000 these are just the hexadecimal values so now if I build this um, oh whoop, whoops I accidentally changed the, the wrong thing my bad um, see line number so the line number was the line number column what I was uh, wanting to do was the current line I'll, I'll just do a, a comment since I can't find the one I'm looking for I'll change the back color to what is red 
And now when I do a comment in Python. Oh wow, why is it? Hmm. That's strange. Uh, it's not working. <laughs> so the one time I would try it, it's not working. But uh, I do assure you that most of these work. Um, so yeah, so there's the red coloring. Hello, this is a comment. So, of course, as you just saw, there are quite a few uh, bugs and glitches that I'm still working out. But if you guys would want to kind of see something like this, or at least a basic form of this, uh, please let me know in the comments and give this video a like. That'd be awesome. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys uh, hopefully in a tutorial for this video. But otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.